Trời ơi Cái bạn đã hỏi mình hơn 2000 câu hỏi đấy Đã đến giờ giải đáp chúng Hey Dan, why are you so bald? Well, because my father is bald and his father was bald and his father was bald too. If I have a son someday, I don't have much hope for the kid. Can you show us a picture of when you were young? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey Dan, how tall are you? 1 meter 84. Do you like Vietnamese girls? Yes. Dan, do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Your girlfriend is Vietnamese or what? Yes. Can you talk some information about your girlfriend, Dan? No. You know, there are some YouTubers who are cool with putting like their whole personal lives in their videos, but I'm not one of them. I'll tell you one thing about my girlfriend. She is now probably one of the only people in Vietnam, excluding foreigners, who has a decent backgammon game. I know this because I'm the one who taught her how to play. What's your experience about Hanoi and Saigon? I've lived in Hanoi for three years and I have never been to Saigon. Dan, what places have you traveled to in Vietnam? All right, let's start from the top. I've been to Hà Giang, Bắc Giang, Quảng Ninh, Vĩnh Phúc, Hanoi, of course, Bắc Ninh, Ninh Bình, Hà Tĩnh, Đà Nẵng, Đắk Lắk, Lâm Đồng, and Khánh Hòa. What do you think about K-pop? I don't like it. Dan, what do you think about Donald Trump? I don't like him. What do you hate about Vietnam and Vietnamese people? I want an honest answer. The thing I hate the most? Garbage everywhere. I'll give you one example out of thousands. I went to Ba Bay Lake National Park last year, and on the little island in the middle of the lake where you can go swimming and stuff, there were watermelon rinds, chicken bones, beer cans, all kinds of shit. In a national park! Shameful. Absolutely shameful. Dear Dan, how many foreign languages can you speak? Really, only Vietnamese. I studied German for two years in high school, but I don't remember much now. Being a successful learner of Vietnamese, with a northern accent, do you still find any difficulties in speaking with and understanding people from other parts of Vietnam with relatively different dialects? Yes, but it depends on the person. In my recent trip to the south, I found some people very easy to understand, and some others almost impossible to understand. Have you ever been in an embarrassing situation while using Vietnamese? Yes. One time when I was basically first learning Vietnamese, I wanted to ask a woman, Go bao nhiêu tuổi? But instead, I asked her, Go bao nhiêu tiền? I corrected myself right away, but still, I felt pretty stupid. Why do foreigners usually marry so late? Uh, why do Vietnamese people usually marry so early? Why do so many native speakers say thanks when they receive a compliment? Why do Vietnamese people not say thanks when they receive a compliment? How could I talk naturally with foreigners at Hoan Kiem Lake to practice my English skills without being thought that I'm bothering them? Very good question. Here's what you should do. Instead of just saying, can I practice my English with you? Say something like, can I just have five minutes of your time to practice my English? Or 10 minutes, 10 minutes is reasonable. And then when five or 10 minutes is up, say, thank you for your time and walk away. What is the hardest part of learning English? I don't know, English isn't hard for me. How can I study English perfect? I don't know, I've never had to improve my English. Look guys, I'm not just trying to be sarcastic here. What I'm trying to say is that I don't really think that you should ask me or any other native English speakers for advice on how to study English because we've never had to study it. For us, it's just natural. If you want to ask us about the language itself, that's good because our knowledge of the language is very, very deep. But if you're looking for advice on how to study, I think you should ask other Vietnamese people who have studied English successfully because they have experience with what you're trying to do. What should I do when I have no motivation in learning English? Find some. I don't know. I cannot give you motivation. Motivation is something that has to come from within you. No one can give it to you. And if you can't find any motivation, then you will not succeed. Harsh truth. What is your favorite book? Probably Cosmos by Carl Sagan. Mind-blowing stuff. What's your favorite food in Vietnam? Bún bò Huế. Hi Dan, which food in Vietnam do you hate the most? Gà lùa. So boring. Why do you drink so much beer? I don't drink that much beer. 
I often use beer as a prop in my videos because, I don't know, I find it kind of funny. But in my real life, I don't drink that much. You guys do understand that these videos are like performances and not actual documents of my life, right? Do you think cats will one day rule the world? No, they are far too lazy and selfish. Do you think young people moving out to live independently is being selfish? No, where I come from, that's normal. Why do we have to write the question in English even though you know Vietnamese? Uh, because I'm the king of this channel and I can make any rules I want. Do you think sleeping is wasting time? No, I love sleeping. Dan, where did you get that Star Wars cup? My Star Wars mug was a Christmas gift from my dad. Quick answer, Dan. Star Wars, original trilogy or prequels? Original trilogy, come on. Who is your favorite Star Wars character? Darth Vader. Who shot first? Han shot first. Was your Vietnamese in your video checked and edited before posting, Dan? Yes. I write all of the scripts myself, but my girlfriend helps check them. My girlfriend is the only person other than me who makes a consistent contribution to this channel. She helps with editing. She made the adorable channel art that you're looking at right now. Sometimes she has clever ideas for video names like Tieng Anh Ngo. And in general, she's just kind of my test audience as I'm working on a project. Overall, her contribution is essential. And without her, this channel probably wouldn't exist. Thanks, sweetheart. What do you think if someone hates or disparages your videos? I'm lucky that my channel doesn't get a lot of hateful and disparaging comments, but there are some. And when I see them, I can't say they don't bother me at all, but I can say they don't bother me very deeply. Because I know that I put more work and more thought into these videos than those stupid haters are capable of putting into anything. Haters are talentless losers, and they know this about themselves. That's why they're haters. If they weren't talentless losers, they would have no reason to leave hateful comments. Which editing software are you currently using? I'm using Final Cut Pro 10. It's not cheap, it costs like $300. But don't think that you have to go and spring for some big, expensive software program if you're trying to make videos. I started making videos just using iMovie, and in fact, my most viewed video was made with iMovie. Have you received the silver button from YouTube yet? No. YouTube evidently really likes to take their sweet time sending these things out. It was only like a week ago that I finally got a notification on my YouTube account that I could claim my prize, and now that I've claimed it, it says that it'll take about 8 to 12 weeks for it to be shipped to me. But anyway, the important thing isn't receiving the silver button, the important thing is getting to 100,000 subscribers, which happened a couple months ago, so yay! Hi Dan, how do you feel when you are one of the most subscribed online English teachers in Vietnam? I feel great. Before I finish, I want to thank the people at Rest Coffee and Lounge for letting me film in their space. The place has a very cool atmosphere, which you probably can't find anywhere else in Hanoi. Check it out sometime at 111 Chinkomsun, or click on the link to their Facebook page in the description below.